Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls and this is our daily inspiration card reading. If you would like a personal reading with me, just go to angelsouls444.com. I also have some blogs over there. Check that out. Check out Substack. Got all kind of writing everywhere. And check out my next live that I'm having on October 10th, 1010. We're going to be talking about that energy and always check the description box. That's where all the links will be for whatever the heck I'm doing. <laughs> okay, so let's get into it here. Take back your power. This keeps coming out. It's Archangel Raziel. Use your God-given power and intention to manifest blessings in your life. So we don't want to give our power away to pain, to bad memories, to, again, it's not like avoid and pretend like it's not there. But when we're constantly revisiting the same questions, that is draining us of our power. And especially if we want to blame. Um, now, I'm not saying, please understand, it gets tricky. And I've said this before. It gets very tricky when we're looking at someone needs to talk about something and say, hey, no, this person or this situation ended up doing this to me. That's different than... Why is everyone so mean to me? Gosh, don't they know how special I am? I should, you know, one's really victimizing yourself and the other is just talking and getting the stuff out. We as a society, we treat those as one and the same. And that is not fair. That is not okay. That is going to cause someone to be pushed over the edge. We're not having it. As long as I'm on this earth, we're not having it. Okay, it's not all right. So when we say take back your power, examine places in your life where maybe you do need to come out and talk about something in a safe environment. Or if you are, another big one, take your power back. Like let's say you went through a breakup and you are expecting closure. Huh. I've done this so many times. You're in good company here. Um, and that person was just out to play games. They don't care about your feelings. They don't care whether they hurt you or not. Well, you're not gonna get closure, right? When we constantly keep thinking like, what did I do? Why did I, you know, that's giving your power away. Or if you're working for someone's approval, that's giving your power away. When you are staying in friendships that are toxic, where they, they don't have a nice thing to say about you. They just, they are not happy for you when you are successful. They're jealous of you, you know, and maybe it's in a subtle way that they're not supporting you, or maybe it's in an overt way. I've heard so many things on TikTok where people are like, my friend used to say X, Y, and Z to me and it's very demeaning. And I'm like, I feel you. I used to have friends like that around too. When you take your power back, especially let's say it's in toxic relationships and maybe you do a house cleaning type thing and then you go into a moment of isolation. You will hear lots of people say, oh, it's not good to be isolated. It's not. And from a spiritual standpoint, that could be very necessary. Uh, think about Jesus in the desert, okay? I mean, you need to have some space to be with yourself and to be able to heal without someone telling you how fast you should heal or someone telling you you need to get up and get over it or whatever, right? Or telling you you're not allowed to feel how you feel, right? <laughs> so you can actually, uh, do I want to say deprogram? Yeah, sort of deprogram yourself from other people's thoughts, energies, so on and so forth, all right? We're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.